Welcome to Football Game Plans FCS Kickoff presented by the Connecticut School of Broadcasting. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Mike McCarthy is the producer behind the boards, and we've reached the final destination of the FCS season, the championship game between the North Dakota State Bison and the James Madison Dukes. And we're here to break down this game from soup to nuts. All right, it's prediction time, and we won't waste any more minutes as we'll jump right into the preview with keys to victory for both teams in this matchup. Starting with the Dukes in this ball game, I believe they have to stay creative in their running game. They do a great job already of getting outside on the perimeter. I love how they move their guards and tackles in the running game. All of that has to be in effect against a team like North Dakota State that really just wants to fly off the football and control the line of scrimmage. And you also have to test the perimeter early in the passing game. They're going to be a bit banged up on the outside at the cornerback position. I think this is where James Madison can take advantage early in the contest by going deep down the field. And on the, on the defensive side, it's about staying alert in the secondary. North Dakota State does a great job of lulling opponents to sleep, and therefore they're taking shots deep down the field. The secondary can't get caught up in playing aggressively versus the run, have to keep their eyes on their luggage and play great on the back end. Otherwise, they'll give up big plays in the passing game. Moving over to the Bison in this ball game of things, defensively, it's about squeezing and funneling the Dukes downhill. You want to make this team run downhill and not east and west and then downhill. They do a great job of making you cover every blade of grass within their running game. And if you can control that by squeezing those edges and force them to play a downhill running game, I think that favors North Dakota State. Also, on the offensive side, it's about winning in between the hashes. I think they have to own the middle of the field in order to have success against this Dukes defense. I think this is where they have the advantage with their tight ends versus the secondary of James Madison. If they can win in between the hashes, they can win the game. It's also imperative that they win the special teams battle. Right now, there are two out of seven on field goal attempts from 40 yards plus. That's going to be a huge factor in this game. They have to be able to come away with points because this is a very tough defense, if not one of the toughest defenses in the FCS. The key matchup in this ball game, in my opinion, for James Madison is between their defensive line and that Bison offensive front. James Madison has to come in and reset the line of scrimmage. They're giving up a lot of weight up front to this Bison offensive front, and we know North Dakota State wants to come in, establish the line of scrimmage, run the football, chew up the clock, and run their way to victory. And if you're James Madison, the biggest thing you have to do is win at the line of scrimmage if you want to knock off North Dakota State. The key matchup for the Bison, in my opinion, is the quarterback Easton Stick versus the safety Raven Green. They're going to have to match wits the entire game. Green is a ball hawk, a guy that does a great job. You have to make you, if you this offense of James Madison added possessions because of a turnover, they can definitely make you pay and ultimately win the game. Taking a look at some of the X factors in this ball game, looking at James Madison's wide receiver, Raleigh Stapleton, who had a phenomenal contest against Weber State. I think he can have some success early in this ball game because again, the Bison secondary is a bit banged up coming into this matchup. And if they go to Stapleton early in that first quarter, he has a really good chance to get rolling and cause a lot of problems for that Bison defense. For North Dakota State, their tight ends is where I think they have the advantage. You look at Connor Wentz, the tight end, Carson Wentz's cousin, also Jeff Illies. If they can work those two guys in the ball game early and often, that's the matchup they have where they have the advantage. That's where they can attack. And that ties right into the point I made earlier in this video about owning the middle of the field. And this is an opportunity to do so, which could then open up their ground game. I like North Dakota State in this ball game. Both teams are evenly matched. You're talking about two of the top defenses in the FCS. So I envision a 17-14 type of a ball game. Minimize the mistakes on both sides. And again, it's going to come down to the last quarter, the last few possessions. I think at that point in the ball game, that buys in depth along the defensive line and also at the second level will be the reason why they take home yet another national championship. So that's it for this episode of the FCS Kickoff. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts. And don't forget to check out and subscribe on iTunes to the Football Game Plan's FCS Opening Drive podcast, where David Hassagan and myself give you all of the news, notes, and tidbits around the football championship subdivision. <laughs>